the name Gary Chief's name within our best we can and just the four of us all going and hard like
haven't really done much, I guess, here before. There's a couple of these that are quite experienced. And then there's Pete. are very much influenced by Dave Evans, that is Dave the Rave Evans. Do you think that he would be happy with you comparing, comparing uh, Spice Girls to his type of music? I'm pretty sure he would think it's quite cheddar. I don't think Dave's into that kind of music anyway, so all the old school, I think the performance went away. Well. To be honest, I'd rather football any day than that there. You may rather the football, but uh, I'm going to speak to one of the more experienced ones, uh, Pete. <laughs> Pete, uh, how do you think it went for the group? Uh, I think it went well for the group. Uh, I think it went well for me. It was a nice show. Uh, uh, we, we can see that uh, your footballing skills have portrayed and give us uh, fancy footwork. Uh, Gavin, you're very experienced in this field. You've done a lot of Irish dancing with the Shamrocks Club. How do you think it went for yourself? I went alright. And lastly, Ryan. Ryan, you've done a lot of this here before. Has this been your best performance? Yeah, we have Pete alongside us, so of course we did. Again, I can see that uh, Pete O'Hagan is the star of the show, but we're going to go to the comments and the Well, boys, I know now why my car doesn't get washed at the weekends. You've been away practicing on the QT, have you? Well, anyway, I think you're getting better and better. And to be honest with you, young Foxy, the determination on your face would take you anywhere. But you see, um, Fergal McCormick here, he'd be looking for you for the World Point Show because you've really done so, so well tonight. And for the new boy on the block, I hear if you turn up to the practices, you could get a manager. I think it's time boys just had a manager and you could go places. Anyway, I feel that this is a very fitting end to the evening. You're a credit to the Abbey School and good luck to the boys who are going to Zambia. A very fitting end to the evening. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. I thought it was a super effort. It's very obvious you put a phenomenal amount of practice and effort into it. You did yourselves proud and you can always look back, you know how to perform on stage and you enjoyed yourselves. Well done. Like the other group of eight fellas earlier, it takes a lot of guts to get up on the stage and do what they did. Brilliant performance. Kenyon, I've never seen you moving this quick, even on the football field. Well done, but well done to everybody, especially Peter. We heard the words dark horses mentioned quite a lot. Uh, do you still think that you are the dark horses of the competition? Do you think that you can win this now and go on ahead? I always believe we can win it, but it's uh, just down to the judges' scores now. And uh, the judges' comments are very promising. Gavin, uh, you were the topic of most of Anne's conversation. How do you think it went? Yeah, I think it went well. And do you have anything to say to the judges, Peter? for the first score, please. And scores nine! <laughs> Fergal scores eight. <laughs> and Dermot scores nine. Ladies and gentlemen, one last time for the lap tonight. All directions.